than 24 hours until the Neon Desert Music Festival, and business is booming for local hotels. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin, KTSM 9 News reporter at Tatiana Favela, live in downtown El Paso. Whether you live here or have friends and family visiting into, into the borderland, many are expecting to see a high rise in those hotel rooms increasing, enjoying Neon Desert for the weekend, and staying safe. I know that downtown is doing really well also because of the Neon Festival. It's almost that time where many are getting ready to check in and prep for this year's Neon Desert Music Festival in downtown El Paso. We do see that a lot of people do come in from out of town for this festival as well as for other ones. Also, there are instances where locals uh, tend to rent rooms out because they don't want to have to drive back to different parts of the city where they live and just kind of keep it in the same uh, uh, area where they're going to be at. So they want to keep it responsible. The El Paso Hotel and Lodging Association tells KTSM the music festival brings in good money for the industry and for the city. Many hotels actually rely on big attractions like these to see a spike in business. We want festivals such as that because when we did have Sun City Music Festival that did create a huge impact for the hotels as well as the restaurants and, and everything around the city. It really created a, a strong economic impact which is the type of business that hotels like to see and everybody likes to see. As El Paso continues to improve, the support of surrounding businesses grows along that success. We know that, that attractions are what you know, builds the city. And we want those type of events to continue and not go away. So we, we do support this Neon Festival heavily, and we're, we're glad that it continues to come. And the Hotel and Lodging Association says there has been an uptick in reservations. Yes, even including today. They'll expect to see more within today and tomorrow. Live in downtown El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.